quite a winding road to the major leagues for Kyle Finnegan, the Nationals' newest up-and-coming reliever. Drafted back in 2013 in the sixth round by the A's, played seven seasons in the minors without an appearance at the big league level. Then when he hit free agency this winter, the Nationals came calling. He signed a major league contract despite, as I said, having no big league service time under his belt, made his big league debut July 25th against the Yankees, and all he's done so far is dominate through eight scoreless innings. I talked to Kyle Finnegan recently about this path to the major leagues, how he's been able to improve his game over the last couple of years, and when the Nationals came calling this winter, how those negotiations played out. When free agency started for me, I was actually in the Dominican Republic playing winter ball. So it was um, five days after the World Series, if I'm correct. Teams can start um, signing free agents for the next season. And I'd gotten a lot of a lot of texts and a lot of calls from from clubs while I was there in the Dominican. So I was, you know, a lot of that that was a difficult part because I was, you know, taking calls and texts from them, trying to get them in contact with my agent while I was, you know, in the in a place that I wasn't even sure if I was gonna have cell service. <laughs> so just trying to take that every day. Um, but then I got back home and was able to kind of dial in more on it. And uh, I had a few teams that my agent was telling me were potential, like offer a 40 man roster spot, like a big league deal. But up until the nationals, um, I hadn't had the, any of those offers yet. It was all just straight minor league deals with spring training invites. And uh, me and my agent had kind of planned like that would be the dream goal, you know, get a, get a big league deal straight out of minor league free agency. Um, and I wasn't, honestly, I wasn't expecting that because you don't see that very often. So when the nationals called and they made that offer, it was, I mean, I think I thought about it for all of 15 minutes. <laughs> it was, it was just a dream come true. That's awesome. And coming from the, the very recent World Series champions, no less, that had to that had to mean even a, a little extra bit more to you. Exactly. I mean, every player every player wants a chance to to win that trophy. So um, to come into a team and and at that time I was just hoping to you know contribute to a to a title defense or or even just get that experience of of seeing how World Series champions carry and carry themselves. So to have the opportunity to, to play for the defending World Series champions was incredible. Uh, what, what have the last couple months been like for you as you've gotten into the flow of what being a major leaguer is like? You've been up here with, uh, with this team from summer camp through the early part of the season. What has this learning curve been like for you? What have you picked up during this time? Uh, it's been great. I mean, I've been able to learn a ton from the guys in that bullpen, the guys on this team. It's this clubhouse is, is so tight knit. Like I've never been a part of before. Um, they, you know, I feel like I've been taken in with open arms from older guys, younger guys, everyone in between. So just being able to have that comfort, especially for a rookie, um, is huge for, for on-field success. You know, when you feel like your teammates are pulling for you and, and you're a part of it, um, it's just all good. So that, and, and being able to, pick the brains of some of these guys. I mean, you've got, you've got some potential future hall of famers in there. It's just, it's, it's an unbelievable experience. As you've gotten more appearances under your belt as a major leaguer and have the success that you have had, has your confidence grown and have you put yourself in a position now where you would feel totally good if Davey gives you the ball in the seventh inning of a, of a, you know, one run lead type of situation. Yeah. I mean, I've always, I've always thought that I was, you know, ready to be a major league pitcher and, and definitely getting off to a good start has, has calmed the nerves and, and boosted that confidence. Cause I mean, my first outing, you know, a debut is just like you black out and you just try and get through it. So, um, but these last, these last few outings, I've felt completely like myself, completely in control. And um, I'm just trying to build off that outing by outing, you know, when, if I pitch when we're, down by 10, up by 10, up by two, you know, I want to, I want to try and treat every outing the same and have the same level of 
of awareness and competitiveness.